Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe this channel. DOG publishes second report on AIO Digital Asset Crime Announces New Expert Network. The U.S. Justice Department has published another report on crypto crime with detailed recommendations for legal reform. It has also formed a network of experts to advise offices. The United States Department of Justice (DOJ) published she published its last report in response to President Joe Biden's March Executive Order (IO) on the developments on of digital assets on September 16. At the same time, it announced the formation of a new digital asset coordinator network, or DIC, DAC in furtherance of the department's efforts to combat the growing threat posed by the illicit use of digital assets to the American public. The report titled The Role of Law Enforcement in Detecting, Investigating, and Prosecuting Criminal Activity Related to Digital Assets, complements its joint report on international law enforcement cooperation. The new report characterizes digital assets criminal ex Police exploitation with particular attention to non fungible tokens and FTS and decentralized finance DeFi and goes on to examine the efforts of various federal departments and agencies to counter crime involving digital assets. It recommends a variety of measures to en enhance law enforcement efforts. The report's priority proposals are to extend anti tip of province by broadening the definition of financial institution within the applicable statutes amend the criminal care code as, as it applies to unlicensed money transmitting businesses and extend the statute of limitation for curtain offenses. The report also suggests change to the preservation and provision of evidence and recommends threatening penalties and other chance to laws, especially the Bank Secretary Act. It also recommends adequate funding for its efforts, including employment incentives and chance it in hearing policy. The DAC has already been launched under the leadership of National Cryptocurrency Enforcement Team. A body formed in February after being announced last year, the network held its first meeting on September 8. The coordinators are over 150 federal prosecutors from U.S. Attorney's Office and the DOJ's uh, litigating companions. It's expected to be the department's primary forum for training and guidance on investigating and prosecuting digital asset crimes. DIC members are designated as their office uh, subject matter experts on digital assets. They will apparently receive special training to serve in that training in that role. And the Ethereum merge came and went, leaving leaving investors to ponder what the next trending developments. In the market could look like. In a coin telegraph, Twitter spots with Capriola and fund founder Charles Edwards. The analyst mentioned the analyst mentioned the that excitement over the Ethereum merge merge and its bullish price action had somewhat have been holding up hope across the market. Now that the event has come and gone, the crypto market has been selling up with Bitcoin's BTC. Price trading below $20,000 and others under $1,500. Eventually, new narratives and market trends will emerge and if the fundamentals are right, traders will rotate funds as these, these new leaders emerge. 
Okay, that's all for me. Thank you for watching and forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And thank you.